Hello students! Again, this is Teacher Abby for another mathematics lesson about generating patterns. In today's lesson, you are expected to attain the following objective. Find the next few terms of a sequence. Before we proceed in our discussion, let us have first a simple activity. This activity is named, What's Next? In this activity, you just need to find the next food, numbers, or even letters to complete the set of patterns. For number one, what is the tree next food? If we have carrot, strawberry, strawberry, and carrot. So the answer will be strawberry, strawberry, then carrot. For the second number, what is the three next letters of P E M? Take note that these are operations in a single expression. So the answer will be D A N S. For the last number, what is the three next numbers of 0, 5, 10, and 15? So, the answer will be 20, 25, and 30. Did you get all the correct answers? And now, let us explain why did we arrive on those answers in our activity a while ago. For number 1, what is the three next food? From the given carrot, strawberries, strawberry, then carrot, we ended with in a carrot, therefore, we need it to followed by a strawberry, strawberry, then another carrot. For number two, what is the three next letters for P, E, M? We take note on the clue of operations in a single expression. If we are going to remember your lesson during your elementary days, uh, the operations in a single expression pertains to PEMDAS or the parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Since we have B, E, M, therefore, we're going to follow it by D, A, and S to form PEMDAS. For number 3, what is the three next numbers? For 0, 5, 10, 15. As you notice, we just arriving on the next number by adding by 5. So since we ended at 15, we're going to add by 5. This will be 15 plus 5, that will be 20. 20 plus 5, that will be 25. Then 30 will be the last number. Were you able to find and get the next number? If so, the sh then the shapes, letters, and numbers in the above activity are called sequences. To further explain what is a sequence, let us define it properly. Sequence is a function whose domain is a finite set of positive integers 1, 2, 3, up to n, or an infinite set of 1, 2, 3. Based on this illustration, the domain is equal to n, while range is equal to the value of a sub n. The domain is the relative position of each term. Meaning to say, if n is equal to 1, it indicates that it is the first term of the sequence. If n is equal to 2, 
then it indicates that the, it is the second term of the sequence, and so on and so forth. On the other hand, range are the actual terms of the sequence. To simplify the definition of a sequence, it is a set of numbers written in a specific order or pattern. Meaning to say, if a set of numbers has a pattern, then we can consider it as a sequence. Always remember that each element or object in the sequence are called terms. So for our example, we should note that sequence may come in rule form. These are sequences stated in general rule or in general term or n term. So for our example, as you can see, we have our domain n which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a range or value of a sub n which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, our general rule for this sequence is A sub n is equals to 2 n. Wherein, n is the term number, this one, and A sub n is the nth number, or the nth term, rather. So, how did we get the values of A sub n? We just simply substitute the value of n to our general rule. So, let us try. a sub n is equal to 2n. Let us substitute 1. That will be a sub 1 equal to 2 times 1. 2 times 1, that is 2. Therefore, the value of our first term is 2. Next. Let us try a sub n equal to 2n if the n is equal to 2. So, substituting the value of n which is 2 here, 2 times 2, that will be 4. So, a sub 2 or the second term will be equal to 4. Next, the value of n is 3. Substituting it here, that will be 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So, that is why this is 6. And let us try the fourth term. So, the n will be 4. Let us try 2 times 4, that is 8. So, this will be 8. Then, for the fifth term, a sub n is equal to 2n, then n will be 5, 2 times 5, that will be 10. So, that, that will be 10. This is the reason why we have the range 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 under our general rule. So, in order for us to get the terms in each sequence, you just simply substitute the domain or the value of n in our general rule. Let us have another example. So, for example number 1, write the first 5 terms of 4n minus 4. 4n minus 4 is our general rule. So, we're going to use this one to get the terms in the sequence. So, as you can see, our domain, as always, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In order for us to get the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, respectively. And our general rule, as I mentioned a while ago, 4n minus 4. So, in order for us to get the terms, we just simply substitute the value of n. So, let us try. So, for the first term, 
you just simply substitute the value of n which is 1. So that will be 4 times 1 minus 4. 4 times 1, that will be 4 subtracted by 4, that will be equal to 0. So, the value of our first term will be equal to 0. So, you can place it here. Next, let us try the second term or let us find the second term rather. Using again our general rule, in here, we're going to substitute the value of n which is 2. So, 4 times 2, that will be 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4, that will be equal to 4. So, the second term will be 4. So, we're going to place it here. For our third term, we just simply replace n by the value of 3. So, that will be 4 times 3 minus 4. And we all know that 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Then, subtracted by 4. 12 minus 4, that will be 8. So, our third term will be 8. For our fourth term, again, let us replace the value of n to 4. That will be 4 times 4 minus 4. 4 times 4 is 16 subtracted by 4. So, 16 minus 4, that will be 12. So, our fourth term will be 12. For our fifth term, we're just replacing n by 5. So, that will be 4 times 5 minus 4. Then, 4 times 5, that will be 20. Then, 20 minus 4, that will be 16. So, our fifth term will be 16. So, these are the first five terms of the general rule for n minus 4. Or simply, we can write it in sequence form 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16. So these are the terms in this sequence. So, for our example number 2, we do have write the first 5 terms of the general rule 2 minus 2n raised to 2. So, again, this is our domain. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5 since we're looking for the first 5 terms. Our general rule 2 minus 2n raised to 2. Now, in order for us to get the range or the values of, or the terms in this sequence, just simply replace the values of n respectively. So, let us try the first term. So, in here, we're going to replace n by 1 since we're looking for the first term. So, that will be 2 minus 2 times 1 raised to 2. In here, we're just simply first simplify the exponent. So, 1 raised to 2, that will be 1 since 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Then, let's, let us multiply 2 times 1, that will be equal to 2. Then, we all know that 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, the first term will be 0. Next, for the second term, we just simply replace n by 2. So, that will be 
2 minus 2 times 2 raised to 2. Then, simplify 2 raised to 2. That will be 2 times 2, which is 4. Then, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then, 2 minus 8. That will be equal to negative 6. So, the value will be negative 6. For our third term, we're going to replace n by 3. So, 2 minus 2 and raised to 2. That will be 2 minus 2 times 3 raised to 2. 3 raised to 2 will be simply as 3 raised to 2. Uh, 3 times 3, rather, that will be 9. And 9 times 2 is equal to 18. Then, 2 subtracted by 18, that is negative 16. So, this will be negative 16. For our fourth term, we're going to replace n by 4. So, 2 minus 2 raised to, uh, multiplied by 4 raised to 2. 4 raised to 2 is 4 times 4. So, that is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. Then, negative 30, uh, 2 minus 32 rather is equal to negative 30. So, the fourth term will be negative 30. For our fifth term, we're just simply replacing n by 5. That will be 2 minus 2 times 5 raised to 2. And simplifying 5 raised to 2, that will be 25. Because 5 times 5 is 25. And 2 times 25 is 50. 2 subtracted by 50, that will be negative. So, the fifth term will be negative 48. So, in this case, our sequence will be 0, negative 6, negative 16, negative 30, and negative 48. So, as you notice, in our range or in our sequence, we have a certain pattern to be considered it as a sequence. Since we're done with our example, we're going to have your activity. In this activity, you're going to find the first five terms of the following sequence. For the first one, the general rule would be a sub n is equal to 3 plus n. Number 2, a sub n is equal to 5n. For number 3, a sub n is equal to n raised to 2 minus 2. And last number, 4, a sub n is equal to 4 plus 3n. So, good luck. Do your best. That's all for today. If you have questions, you can message me via Facebook Messenger, Abby Mendoza. Thanks for watching!